Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the ESV Bible with creeds and confessions. This one is going to be in the black true tone, so it's an imitation leather. Comes in a nice cardboard sleeve. I really like the black, red, and gold that they used on here. The spine of this just reminds me of an old book. I think that looks really nice. So whoever designed the packaging, I think did a really nice job. So this top section there, we'll talk about this particular Bible if you would like to pause and read that. So it goes over the different 13 foundational creeds and confessions from church history. And then there's the list of the 13 creeds and confessions that are going to be in here. One neat thing is how they've got the years next to it. So that I like. Then we've got our features, which is going to be a 10 point lexicon type, introductions to each of the creeds and confessions, sewn binding, two ribbons, double column format, and a lifetime guarantee. So nicely done. So the Bible just slides right in there. So protects it nicely. There is the ISBN number. Retail is $49.99. Right now this Bible is on sale for $33, which is an incredible deal. So if you like the ESV, then I would definitely recommend picking one of these up. This one here measures out at nine and a half inches tall, six and a half inches wide, and it is an inch and three eighths thick. So we've got black and yellow head and tail bands. We've got two ribbons. We've got gold gilding. So the gilding looks nice. But what is the most impressive thing on this Bible is the cover. Now this is a true tone. So it's an imitation leather. But if you seen this in person and you were able to hold this in your hands, you're going to think that this is real leather. It is that nice. So we've got a sewn perimeter. It's got a really nice looking grain pattern, so looks and feels like leather. But what was really impressive was the spine. So we've got Holy Bible with creeds and confessions, ESV, English Standard Version, and the Crossway logo. But look at this, how we've got raised ribs on an imitation leather Bible. And that looks really nice. So I'll show you the spine compared to the goat skin one. So the true tones on the left, goat skin on the right. So really nice. So the goat skin retails for 225 and you can pick up for between 157 to 183. But this one you can get for just $33 on sale right now. A full price is only 50. So this is a really nice Bible. If you like the ESV, I would definitely pick one of these up. So on this one, we're gonna have a paper paste down liner whereas the goat skin is going to be edge lined. Then we've got a few blank pages. Now these pages are a glossier type paper. It's got a sheen to it. So if you take notes on here, just use the right pens and make sure it's dry so that you don't smear those. So we can see some stitching in here. So nice sewn binding. We're gonna have our presentation page. Got a page for marriages, births and adoptions as well as deaths. And then we get into the title page here. And this is going to be the 2016 version of the ESV. This one was printed in China. So there's the printing dates. And there's a little bit of information about it there. So we're gonna have our contents page, so all the books of the Bible, and then it's got all the creeds and confessions in the back. We're gonna have a list of all the books alphabetically, and then we've got a preface. So if you've never read the ESV, I would definitely read the preface before you start reading it. That way you're just more familiar with it. And then it's got an explanation of the features in this edition, so it'll go over section headings, the cross-reference system, textual footnotes, and it also goes over the creeds and confessions and the maps. And then we're gonna get right into the Old Testament. So we're gonna have a double column layout with all of the cross references being down here in the bottom right and then we've got our footnotes along the bottom. Now this is a line match text so readability in this one is fantastic so I'll get you up close there so you can see how nice that looks. Now the only time you're going to see any show through is going to be in the white space where there's no text and that's going to be totally normal and the camera always highlights that and picks up more of it but 10 point font line matched so really, really readable. Now the references down on the bottom for my eyes are gonna be a lot harder to read. So I don't really use this one for the references just because they're harder to see. 
to where I just use this one more as a reading copy of the ESV. Now the text is far enough away from the gutter that it doesn't fall into the gutter at any point, so that I like. We're going to have two ribbons. So there's close up of the ribbon, cut nice. Now it is just a single sided satin, but for this Bible, for this price range, I wouldn't expect anything different on there. So they are long enough to use. I prefer mine just a hair longer, but at least these are long enough to actually use. Get you a close up of the Psalms. And again, the camera is going to pick up way more ghosting than what you're going to see to the naked eye. And when you look at just the biblical text, you don't have any distractions at all. This one is going to be just black letter. So we've got our second ribbon. So it is nice that we have two. And then we're going to get back to the back of the Bible. So we'll get to the end of Revelation. And then we're going to have our table of weights and measures and the monetary units. And then I don't know if you can, if the camera will pick it up, but there's some more stitching there. So nice sewn binding. And then we've got the concordance. So it's basically going to be, so this Bible is going to be like the large print thin line with the creeds and confessions in the back. But I'm going to get you up closer so you can read that. And so this concordance is going to have more than 2,400 word entries and nearly 10,000 scripture references. So that's going to be a lot. So considering this is not a very big Bible, very portable, you still have a really nice concordance. The concordance is a three column layout. The words are done in bold. And even though this print is smaller, I don't have any issues reading that. So the concordance, we're going to have 59 pages. Then we've got in the back here, the creeds and confessions. So one thing that I think is really neat is this has introductions to the creeds and confessions. So I think that is really neat. I haven't seen anything that's got those. I mean, but I haven't really looked, but I just think it's neat. So there's the different creeds and confessions. Again, there's 13 of them. But I just think it's neat that it gives us an introduction to them. So that I really like. So I'm going to give you a close up of the Apostles Creed. So there's the introduction in case you would like to pause and read that. And then I'll drop you down to the actual creed if you'd like to read that. And then I'll give you a shot of that footnote there. So this is going to still be the same 10 point font. So it's going to be a little bit larger than the introduction. Plus this print is just a hair darker than that. You can probably see that. I'm sure that the camera will pick that up. But I think it's going to be interesting to read all of these. And we've got the Nicene Creed. I'm not going to show each individual one, but I'm just going to flip through and show a few of these. So I'm definitely going to read all of these. I think it'll be very interesting to read them at least once. So this one is the 39 Articles of Religion. So it has them all broken down. I think that'll be interesting to read those. We're going to have the Canons of Dort. We've got the Westminster Confession of Faith. Also the London Baptist Confession. Then we'll also have the Westminster Larger Catechism as well as the shorter one. So I will definitely take the time to, to read each one of these. I think it'll be interesting to at least read them all once. Then we're going to get into the back of the Bible to our maps. You can see that it is on a glossier paper. So they're going to be your typical crossway maps very readable. I do like the colors that they use in their maps. There's going to be eight of them. So eight nice full color maps. We've got some more stitching there. So really nice sewn binding. And then we just get back to the back of the Bible. But when I first opened this one up and I pulled this out, I thought this was a genuine leather. It feels that nice. It also looks that good. So if you're looking for a nice readable ESV with a nice size print that's not real big, nice and portable, but that also looks really nice, especially when you look at this spine, that's definitely one of the nicest imitation leathers I think I've ever seen. So 
I would definitely recommend one of these. Even if you don't really care about the creeds and confessions, the print quality of the text block in here is awesome. So again, this one has been the ESV Bible with creeds and confessions in the true tone black. Again, you can also get it in goat skin. There's the ISBN number. I'll put a link to this one in the description box as well as the goat skin one. But for the price, you cannot beat this one. It is just super, super nice Bible. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.